Hey YouTube Sweet Knives here. Thanks for checking out the channel. If it's your first time, consider subscribing. I'm reviewing all kinds of knives, sharpening knives, uh, going over flashlights, all kinds of outdoor gear. So make sure you check out some of the links in the description for great deals. And uh, if you end up buying something that actually helps me a lot. So it doesn't cost you guys anything more, but it helps me. Today we're checking out two knives. I've, I've already reviewed both of these before, but I wanted to just show them again. So I, it's like right now it's 2021. I think like a year or two years ago, Benchmade came out with an upgraded version of the fixed Adonimus 375 BK. And that's this one right here. This is the upgraded version and uh, it's got crewwear, CPM crewwear. And I added these grips, so this doesn't come with it. So these are, uh, you can search up 375 uh, Micarta on, uh, on uh, eBay, 375 Scales or 375 Micarta, and you'll see the gentleman. APAL is the guy that uh, he does them. In fact, you can check out some of my other videos. I've made entire videos on this, so that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to go over some of the differences between the old version, which was the 375, and I'll I'll just show you this right here, so you can see. This is the 375 BK right here, and the one on the bottom is the 375 BK-1. And so Benchmade's moving to this new steel, the crewwear, and it's a, supposed to be a little bit better. But here's the thing: the D2 version held up amazingly well over all those years with the military and everything else. So I'm going to just show you some of the differences right off the bat. So this is the old one. And on the old one, they had these, uh, you know, cutouts here where you could cut. And this part here was sharpened on the tip. So that's one of the big, big differences other than the steel. On this one, it's, uh, it's ground a little bit, but it's not sharp. So you just have one sharpened side of the blade. And so that's kind of the main difference. The other big difference is if we hold up the design, you can see the thicknesses in the steel. The thicknesses are about the same. This crewwear might be a might be a hair thicker, but I don't think it really is. Um, pretty much everything matches up. One thing that um, is different is the top. You can see that you know, we kind of talked about that. Um, this one has this Kind of like blood groove here. This one does not. <laughs> um, the skeletonizing is pretty much the same if I took off these handles. On the bottom side, you got jimping. So, really, they're, I mean, really and truly, it's almost the identical knife. It's just this one uses this. Uh, new stuff but they did put a different finish so I'm gonna zoom into the finish on this let you see that smooth smooth these are nice knives guys if you're looking for a really good fixed blade knife either one of them is great I mean, if you can afford to get the new one, get the new one. They come in a nice Kydex uh, sheath. And they fit really nice, and they come with all kinds of other uh, stuff in the box. You can make your own handle. You can attach this, and you can attach the configurations here. So they're, these are just, I like these a lot. Um, doesn't matter which one which one you go with. They're both very, very nice knives. If you want to upgrade your scales, um, you can do that and you can get these, but you don't have to. And also I should mention these come in um, different colors. So like black is the main color, but also they come in a desert sand. So you could get the desert sand variation as well. That's it guys. Real straight, real simple. Um, appreciate you checking out the channel. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. There'll be links coming up here in uh, about 10 seconds just click on some of those i mean there, there's a lot of good stuff coming out and um, i got a lot more knives to review so thanks a lot and have a great day bye bye